Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Rise of the Third Power. Last time we left off, we were hanging out over here. Um, there is a thing over there, I just gotta dodge you guys. Okay. Lever. Ow. What did that do? Lever. Okay, what is this? On the ground here, you find a faintly glowing violet crystal, about the size of a plum. A hole has been drilled through it, where a small frayed rope has been threaded through. Do I, wow, just hidden there on the ground like that? I thought it was another one of the barriers, that's why I kind of tried to walk around it. But no, it wasn't a barrier, it was actually an item. I have a floating crystal used by warlocks for the purpose of controlling black magic. Ugh, oh, what's this? Seems to be a sorcerer's conduit, used to channel magic. If I'm not mistaken, this kind of crystal is used exclusively for black magic. Well, that doesn't sound good. I would want to be here on the floor. I don't know. There are very few practitioners of black magic these days. While there must be others, I am only aware of one person capable of casting it. Victoria, Emperor Noriskov's second-in-command. Meaning she's here? I hope not. You saw how powerful she is. From what I know of her, she isn't the type to be leaving something like this dropped on the floor. I'm sure we'll find our own black mage at some point. Ow. Okay, so can't go that way. That's not possible right now. So, yeah, I went over here, I got that thing, and now where to, though? Yeah, I still can't get through there. Okay. So something else needs to be done in these other rooms, I guess? Looks like this is the main entrance. Well, the cathedral is swarming with Arcadians, let's avoid this. Okay, so that's what that is. Ooh, there's a shiny up here. In an instant, the tiny wisp of energy streams into the crystal amulet Rowan found below. Its faint glow intensifying. The mode of energy was absorbed by your sorcerer's content. Okay, hold the phone. That sounds important. Um, I'm gonna avoid you guys. I don't see much reason in fighting you some more. Okay, there was this. So this is where the other one was. Yeah, and there was one in the room I started in as well. Minor charge. So is that just in my quest items? Is that where that's listed? Yeah, okay. So I'm guessing there's a bunch of these in this area and I have to find them all or something? And I get rewarded for doing so? Yeah, there's another one right here. Hi. I'll sneak up on you. <coughs> All right, nothing super crazy going on here. Uh, yeah, just death blow. Your death blow honestly does too much damage. Go bluey, and grape shot. Well, that I don't think that will kill actually. Yeah, I should have done explosive shot. That's my bad. Uh, you don't do too much damage, so we're fine. We are good. Uh. Quick slice, I guess. You guys can handle the other one. Um, booze. How much HP do you actually have left? 153? I don't know if that's actually an. I'm just gonna slash you. I don't know if that's enough for Ariel to actually kill you on her own. I should have paid attention to your damage. So I, okay, no, 196. That was totally enough. Friendship ring is attuned. That is good, because I remember that item being quite strong. So. Team point generation is increased by 15 per round. That is quite good, I must say. 5% crit chance, 2% chance to negate damage, damage dealt by bleed attacks is increased, crit rate plus 8%. Uh, damage from critical hits is increased, and falling in battle, yeah. Huh, okay. Neato, I suppose. Gimme. Some more of that. Hi. Uh, just more basic enemies. Seems like you're all just dropping the Archer Stone anyway, so I guess I shouldn't, you know, obsess over trying to find, uh, a ton of, uh, what's it called? Um, you know, the thingy. The thingy? That I'm talking about currently and can't explain? Um, the crafting materials, the, the warrior Archer Stones and all that shit. Jeez. Brain was having a meltdown. It's fine. Except that it isn't. 
Okay, you're dead. You're dead. So you're the only one that lived. Um, I'm just gonna sunder your armor, actually. And you may ask why I'm doing that. It's so I can get to Rowan to booze to get that free heal, and then I'll just have you finish the enemy off. There we go. Cool, cool. Good stuff. So, oh, okay, this just also goes in here. Well, all right, we're good there. So I've been down here. Ah, here's another one. But if energy shimmers and sorcerer's stone draws near is disturbed by some unseen magical force, but otherwise does not react. Perhaps the amulet has absorbed all it can. Okay, so I'm done absorbing them now. What does that do? Motive energy was absorbed by your sorcerer's conduit. So wait. Uh, huh. So I I have them now. Oh, maybe I can use it to get past the barriers downstairs now. That's probably what it's for. Right? And we need to get three charges before I can actually use it. Yeah, yeah, that's probably totally what it's for. All right, so... Energy stored within the Sorcerer's Amulet erupts from the crystal. It's light dimming, followed by the magical seal shimmering as it dissipates. Yeah. All right, cool. Ow. Pain. Yeah, that hurt quite a bit. Uh, Ariel almost died, so let's heal up, why don't we? There we go. Um, gimme. Gimme. Oh, oh, you have to stand on it, damn it. There we go. Mud of energy dancing in the air here is larger and more vivid than those you have encountered already, but it swirls into the amulet all the same. The amulet glows brightly now. A more vivid type of energy absorbed. So... Does that just mean it's fully charged now? God, I hate that stuff. 30% HP, man. Like, that that's not a small amount of HP. Boom, boom. Jeez. That shit hurts, you know. Alright, so let's get down here. Or maybe this one just gets rid of these? It's a warm gust of wind. There's a warm gust of wind that crackles with magical energy, followed by an intense flash of light. When your vision returns, you see that the barrier, although weakened, still blocks your way. Okay, so we need more of the major ones. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So we, yeah, we need more of the major power things. And I need to get more to get through there. Okay, so we need, we need more moats. So we have minor energy that we can fill it with and major energy. And we can only carry three minor. Luckily I remember where all of these were. This doesn't even feel optional at this point. This this feels like it's required for the dungeon. Although maybe getting like all of the uh, moats rewards you in some way. So let's get up here. Yeah, there was you. Okay, yeah, see I couldn't interact with you before but I did remember you were up there. So, how many is, miners is that? Two. So I need one more and then I can get past that other barrier. Wow, I just walked right past you guys, you doofuses. Hey. I feel kind of bad, so I'm gonna fight you anyway, even, even though you didn't see me. Alright, so... Death blow on you. Yeah, I do forget- I did forget. That's the reason my death blow is so stupidly strong, because I have that thing on, uh... Karina where she does extra damage, specifically when um, you have uh, full MP. So that's that's one of the reasons she's so busted. It is just such a good opening gambit. Just like, boom, one of the enemies is dead. Like, I could even one hit the elite, which is crazy to me. Um, yeah, sure, bye bye. Not dealing with you. Uh, booze up. And. Go ahead and can't afford a cannon, but a grape shot will still do it. Just barely. Another archer stone. I'm gonna have way too many of those damn things. Alright, so now I have three moats, right? I keep calling them moats because I'm thinking of moat of light from something? What game is it that you collect motes of light? What am I thinking? Oh, um, Psychonauts 2. Psychonauts 2. People are probably like, what the hell is he talking about motes? But maybe it referred to it as a mote of light at some point. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But we've 
Got what we came in here for. Another major charge. I think I need like one more of those, right? Ow! Bastard. Yeah, I should have went to the left and turned that off first. But unfortunately, I'm a dummy. Alright. Well, Amethyst is worth a lot, I believe. So, is this enough to get rid of these things? Let's go over to this one, just in case I have to do it on the same one to actually get it to go away or something. Yay! Okay, that was enough to get rid of it. Cool. So now we can go in here and activate you. Oh, and it did get rid of both of them. And that allows me to get in there. Cool. Uh... Don't like the sound of that. Uh, what are these? They look like demons. Hmm, they appear to be some sort of eldritch horror behind human reckoning, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Just saying that casually. You seem awfully calm about it. As a priestess of the stars, I have dealt with many such eldritch horrors. Enough chatter, minions attack. Alright. Um, so do I want to roll with you guys? There's five enemies, so... Oh, they seem really strong, actually. Um, oh, they have 700 HP. Well then. Okay, that's problematic. Uh, taunt. Hopefully you can take all of that, Rowan. These guys are quite strong. Okay, you don't have enough for explosive shot. Let's see if I can stun you, maybe. Thank you. Curse? You're casting Doom? Oh no. Uh. Hmm. I mean, I can kill you. Let's not kill you though, because you're probably not going to attack. You're probably going to try and cast some shit like they're doing right now, right? So. Let's. You two are. Two of you are casting Curse, which just lowers my stats, but I'm way more afraid of Doom, so. Let's put you to sleep, actually. I do not want to deal with that. I unfortunately don't have enough for kick. So... Just shoot this one, I guess. And if we could get another stun... We cannot. I'll just grape shot to finish off that other enemy. Oh, the sleep went away, but it's not the biggest deal in the world, because I interrupted you. That's all I care about. Doom. Okay. Okay. That's not as bad as I thought. Doom is just an AoE spell. I thought it was Doom from the Final Fantasy games. <laughs> that's what I thought it was. Uh, okay, yeah, that's significantly less bad. Alright, much more manageable. Good to know. Whew. I was terrified, man. I thought we were going to get a Doom counter. Jeez. Uh, are you all still taunted? It doesn't look like it, so... Back over here, please. My attack's lowered anyway. It's not super useful for me to even be attacking right now. Let's reload. Owie. 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 Okay, that was, uh, that was rough. Um, I'm gonna need to drop a full-blown heal on you, Rowan. Okay, you still have lower attack. Um, Fury could do some serious damage to somebody, though. Actually, no, just Slash. And then we'll do Coup de Gras with Karina next turn. That'll do big damage. Do I explosive shot? Or do I try to cannon one of you to... Let's cannon. Please get stunned. Thank you. Okay, so they can actually slash, and it, it, it does pretty good damage. Like, their, their basic attacks hurt. It does hurt. Um, Coup de Gras on you would kill. Let's do that. I could have used my special, but whatever. Um, Rogue Toss. This would heal me and kill you. No, not quite kill you. Shit. You have like two. Oh, wait. No, you could, You died. Okay, cool. I thought you had like two HP left. So that's what I saw. Okay, that fight was uh, a bit more difficult. I'm down with that. Actually, I had to think about that one a little bit more and use some items. I was incredibly intimidated by Doom. Like, that just seemed horrifying. Okay, I can't use Coup de Gras on you because you do have the defense down. So this basically allows me to just spam Coup de Gras a lot. 
Um, let's kick you to cancel that. Eh. Good stuff. And... Grape Shot's probably the better thing to do here. There we are. So you're prepping another curse, but I don't think that's gonna work, friend. <clears throat> hmm. I get sleeping. Yeah, just sleeping powder, you ass. There you go. No curse for you. And let's do a Fury with Rowan. That's pretty big damage. You're not asleep anymore, but who gives a damn? You're probably just gonna cast another spell again, right? Or slash. That's fine, though. Uh, quick slice. Slashy. And slashy. I probably should have boozed with you, actually. Just, uh, preparation. You'll just die from the poison. There we go. Ah, the strategist band. Strategist band. I don't know why I keep trying to say strategist. The strategist band has, uh, been attuned. I guess that's one of those words you can say either way, but I've always- I always think- read it- I always think I would say strategist. So it's weird when I say strategist. Arena, the Eldritch Horror Expert. Wanna to explain to me what the hell those things were doing here? I think someone must have summoned them, and I know of only one person with that ability. Victoria. Indeed. Let's be careful. Okay. I see the fireballs flying around here still, too. Can we get down there at some point? Oh, I forgot to use the knowledge again. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, the, I'm gonna be through the entire game and still have not used that knowledge. Just saying. Send a derivation of taunt sounds pretty good. Um, although so do some of these other things. Effectiveness of potions for allies increased by 40%. Like that seems very good. Extra spell power. Yeah, see, I don't care about that. Kind of curious about what this is. Fix all allies, but for one less turn. Hmm. Allies build exhaustion slower. Yeah. Yeah, I like the idea of you throwing buffs on us. Um. Killing an enemy generates team points. Yeah, I did want that, didn't I? Um. And then you... Should I just get you the extra crit chance? Um. Hmm. Or I could get you the extra speed. Or strength, but I don't really care about strength that much. Extending the duration of- yeah, let's work towards extend the duration of taunt by one turn. Alright, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, what did I actually get out of that? I just got the door opening, right? Was this all just a side quest, or did I need to come down here for some reason? It would have warned me. If I was walking into a boss fight. Okay. Last time I'll ask you this, where is she? Not telling you a goddamn thing, warlock. Ah, are you my black mage? Seriously, you really think she's worth dying for? Either by your hand now or by hers if I talk. Your call, fool. Oh! Your turn, where is she? I don't know and I wouldn't tell you if I did. Go to hell. Ugh, you people. Okay, wow, that's dark as all hell. Okay, I'm losing my patience. Who's next? Oh, damn, I was sure I had another guy in here. Aiden? Back off, unless you want to end up like... Are you? Eh, eh, <laughs> nice to see you again. Did she just- did he just call you Arya? Y yes it's a long story. What are you doing here? How did you simians defeat my eldritch horrors beyond human reckoning? It wasn't my first eldritch horror. Okay, does anybody want to explain to me what in the hell is going on here? Ahem, I know this person. I met him in Goldwood. His name is Aiden, and he brought me apple juice. And my name isn't Arya. It's Ariel. Princess Ariel I of House Liriata, to be exact. Daughter of King Horatio. You have got to be kidding me. I'm not. Apparently the Arcadians are up to something nefarious here, and I've come to see what it is. Is that so? Well, you're in luck. I'm here for the same reason, more or less. Victoria, Emperor Norskov's second-in-command, is heading up the operation here. I intend to murder her. So Victoria truly is here. We'll need to be cautious, to say the least. 
But if we could somehow capture Victoria, that would deal a major blow to Norskov's high command. Hey, I said murder, not capture. Can I take that to mean you've run afoul of her already? Don't worry, she won't be as powerful once I've made her into my undead thrall. So, we both have the same enemies. That makes us friends. For now, let's go. Hold on a second, you creepy weirdo. We're not ca we're not- We're kind of an elite operation here, only accept the best. Rowan, there's no way he's gonna buy that. You're right, I don't. Don't get in my way and I won't get in yours. It's as simple as that, now let's go. Hayden, we got a new member of the party. Okay, are we really doing this? Because this guy is pretty obviously evil. <laughs> I know, right? He's so evil. He's such an evil edgelord. I don't know. I kind of like him. Besides, Victoria wrecked us last time we fought. We better take all the help we can get. I don't like this either, but I agree with Karina. Renathan only knows what might be ha waiting for us in here. And he did buy me apple juice. After a lot of convincing. Ugh, fine, whatever. Wonderful, let's go then. Can I have that key? Aiden has joined the party. Auden, Aiden. I'm just gonna say Aiden. Usually Aiden has like an I in it somewhere, but whatever. So, what are you all about, friend? <laughs> pants of writhing. Extremely uncomfortable pants. Earrings of evil. <laughs> Come on! Look at this, look at this totally evil person! Oh my god! A staff wrought from the bones of demons. Okay, what are you all about, friends? Um... Blind... Uh... Spell power... Increase the damage of plague... Detonate dazes enemies... Increase power drain... Uh, well, I probably want to use you in combat a bit before, um, I focus on this stuff too much. Rest the skill, summon demon. I mean, the the extra spell power is, you, you seem like a mage, so that's probably going to be the most useful thing I can get for you. Alright, I'll, I'll use you. You seem, uh, interesting, to say the least. Let's, uh, throw a little something-something on you. What do you, what do you want? Let's see here, ring of speed. What is your speed stat like? You are slow as all hell, is the answer. Okay, so... Negate damage taken, damage not by bleed, damage from crits, falling... Uh, for now, I think I'll just put this on you, just to... I don't really care about it, but I also feel like I want to attune all the things at some point. Damage up by bleed, 10%. Yeah, yeah. Take like the ring of speed, damn it. There you go. Enjoy. Alright, and I'll use you in the. Whoop, I forgot the key. I'll use you in the next fight that we get in to kind of see if I like you. I usually do like the mage characters in um, these games, so I have high hopes, but we will see. We will see. Like I said, Karina is basically a requirement. I, I feel like I'm going to be hard pressed to ever want to get rid of Karina. But if I had somebody that could, like, did, did an AoE attack that one-hit everyone, now that'd be one busted, and two pretty cool. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if maybe we can work towards something like that. So there was nothing else to do up here, right? This, yeah, I think I'm just totally done with this area now. Up here. I think I, I, think I did everything here, so. Yep, I think uh, through here is the only place I really have to go. Well, I'm happy we got a new character. Alright, down. Uh, exploded the wall. Okay, what's gonna be in here? Is this the cave where you do all your your black magic shit? I'm glad we got a black mage of our own, that's pretty cool. Alright, so, out, in, start combat. Alright. Just our crazy edgelord black mage. These characters are always cool and hilarious at the same time but he's like ludicrously evil so so deal a moderate amount of damage and heals you for the same amount huh if you had a taunt I would say you could be a tank actually like you'd be like a lifesteal tank basically you would just need yeah you'd really just need a taunt but you don't have one 
Inflicts a single target with two stacks of degen, or all targets with one stack of degen. Which does 99 damage turn. I mean, that's that'd be very good for bosses. All targets have degen removed and suffer moderate damage for each stack of degen they had. And reduces target's damage by 10% and speed by 80% for three turns. Ooh. That's very, that'd be very good for bosses. Okay, yeah, you'll be useful for that at least. Okay, let's inflict all of you with degen. So yeah, you're like a, you're, you're a DOT character. You get stacks of DOT on people and then you can then detonate those stacks to do like a bunch of damage basically. That's neat. I understand you. Uh huh. Yeah, and each stack only does 33 damage. So yeah, I, I thought it was 99 each turn, but no, it's 33. It was 99 over three turns, so I was totally wrong there. Not the craziest thing in the world, but you can detonate it to do a bunch of damage. Well, I could it use at least use uh, Aiden as like an off tank to replace Rowan if Rowan is ever uh, not an option, or I just quite frankly want to replace him with somebody else. Because right now Rowan's a fantastic tank, but I feel like you could be a very good tank as well. Just, you don't have a taunt. Yeah, there's that problem, isn't there? There's that problem. Uh, hi guys. Are one of you elite? Yes. Cool. Alright, neato. And you're, you're, like I said, your speed stat blows. But, um, because we have the ring of speed on you, you're actually not that bad. So that's good. Blind, like I said, is incredibly useful. I really, really like the idea of blind. This doesn't do enough damage for me to be in love with it, I'll be honest. I would like if it did a bit more damage. Yeah, yeah, cast your stupid fire. I dodged it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is nice that uh, Aiden can, can heal himself up. That is uh, very welcome. Um, let's see, I can just death blow one of you. Bye, bye. All right, and detonate. So this will do, yeah, that does damage to all of you. It just takes multiple turns for it to actually go off. So there is that to think about. Bye, bye, because you have to set up the degen and then you have to detonate it. Uh, sure. Bye bye, and Aiden, you can heal up. Cool, cool. Oh, and if they if they don't have a lot of HP, you're not gonna heal a lot of HP. So yeah, that that does work that way. Uh, Karina is almost exhausted though. I guess that's something to think about as well. I'd have to watch for characters that get exhausted. It hasn't really come up that much yet, but now it seems like it's starting to. Okay, I think I know enough about you now to know where I would like to put the points, so... Spell power. Spell power is not crazy useful, I would say, because... Um... If I use you for the... Um... Like, the, the DOT, I don't think spell power matters for that. Detonate dazes enemies, though, that could be nice. Okay, let's get that, I think. All right, so yeah, increase the damage of plague. Cool, yeah, that sounds good to me. You know what, Karina, why don't we just, uh, I wish I could change my party here so I don't have to think about it when I get into combat, but let's take out Karina, I think. Deselect, there we go. So let's uh, take you out because your exhaustion is at 73%, um, which is very high. Uh, let's put in Ariel and you. Cool. Just swap the party around. So, yep, let's go ahead and plague everyone. There we are. And taunt everyone. Good job, Rowan. And then I think we explosive shot everyone, and next time we, uh make our, our plague go boom. And uh, I think that's probably death for all of you. All right? I don't think the fin matters because we already have the plague on you. You're trying to cast fire too. You died. Detonate. 
Yeah. Didn't didn't kill them all. Didn't kill them all. Unfortunately. Good dodge though. Almost did, however. So pistol, defend that idiot. Parry this. <laughs> Parry this casual. My gun. Alright, there we go. So uh yeah, I don't really need to worry about healing you up. Wow, and in one fight your your exhaustion already went down that much. Neat. Okay. Um, I think I'll fight you two with this party as well. We do have an elite rogue in this one. Gotta be careful of that. Because I don't have Karina to just, uh, like, mess them up immediately. Um, I target two stacks or all targets with one stack. All targets with one stack just seems way better. They probably, they probably added the inflict more stacks to a single target thing specifically for bosses, just to make it kind of better for dealing with bosses. Um, I can't explosive shot. I can cannon you. It'd be really nice if I could just kill one of you, but I don't think the degen does enough damage to... Well, the stun's nice. You slowed all of us. That's... Annoying, but uh, not the worst thing in the world, I suppose. Will that kill you? Not quite. Owie. Yeah, I remember that bleed being pretty damaging. Cheeky dodge. Yeah, I do wonder if we're gonna find a better tank than Rowan. Rowan seems really good tank-wise right now. Yeah, the only thing I don't, I find I don't really love about Auden is it seems like you require a lot of setup, whereas like Ariel, I can just jump into the fight and be like, boom, 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 big AoE damage on everybody. But Auden requires a bit more setup. So I can't like finish fights on the first turn like I like to do with uh, Auden in the party, it seems. But maybe with some upgraded skills and stuff, you'll be a bit more effective. It's not fair to totally write you off right at the beginning because, um, yeah, you just don't have as many upgrades as everybody else. So, let's drain you. You do need the HP, so... Wow, one HP. What a jerk. Okay, I can Grape Shot next turn, though, so it's fine. The Bluey. There we go. We got a little bit of our stuff back. Archer Stone 2 again. Yay, yay. Alright, what's through here? Hello? Uh-huh. Whoa. We might have found what we're looking for. What? Er, oh, yeah, what was the first I was doing for you? What a harbor. This is why you came here. Guess that's not really the voice. We were given- it takes me a minute to usually get a voice down. We were given documents that spoke of a secret construction project built by Arcadia behind my father's back. Wait a moment, on the mast there are blue and gold b banners. There are. Those are Tariki flags. No way. Tariq is actually behind this? It can't be. The resistance may have started with Majorin, but we mostly work out of Tariq. The Tariki Republic considers itself a sworn enemy of Arcadia. A secret hardware would certainly be viewed as an act of war. Okay, so Tariq is the one that's making the secret harbor. We thought it was the Arcadians. Maybe Tariq's trying to screw you over before the Empire has a chance to screw them. To gain what? Another enemy? Besides, this place is guarded by Arcadians. Also, how stupid would Tariq have to be to fly their own flags in a secret place like this? Good point. Something about this doesn't smell right. Let's figure out what the hell's going on. Yeah, it's probably, uh... You know, like that, the, 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 the fake kind of tactics that happens a lot in warfare. You have, you have, you, like... Build a navy and then go go sail into someone else's waters, flying a different country's flag or whatever. It kind of reminds me how, in a lot of pirate media, I'm not sure if this really happened in you know all pirate media. Uh, pirates would or, or in all pirate media, in some pirate media, I'm not sure if it happened in real life. I'm not sure if it's a real pirate thing, but basically pirates would swap out their flags depending on who they see, so that they wouldn't attack them. They'd be like, hey, we're we're one of you guys. <laughs> Or like, you know, fly the banner of like a really, really powerful kingdom. Because if you fly that flag, then maybe the pirates won't mess with you because they think you have a lot of backing or something. 
figure out what the hell's going on. Yeah, let's. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta nail down your voice, Auden. You're definitely, you're. De I'm definitely gonna do the the evil, evil man voice for you. Okay. Boss fight coming up, huh? I think we'll do this, and then we'll probably end this episode off. You sure you wish to continue? Let's go. I don't want to stop before the boss fight. That would be mean. Hi. Victoria. Hell Arcadia, my emperor. Hell Arcadia. You are contacting me later than I had hoped, Victoria. I hope you are bringing me good news regarding Princess Ariel. I'm afraid I bring mixed tidings, your majesty. Prince Gage, Sparrow, and I confronted the kidnappers outside Talindra, but Ariel said she wished to stay with them. His Highness acquiesced. But we have now learned that Ariel's party is traveling here to Terendor even as we speak. I will have her captured by my forces and return to Evanhart by nightfall. You said my son let her go? Yes, your majesty. I will deal with him myself. In the meantime, no, you cannot capture Ariel. She must be killed. Your majesty, but the the wedding, the alliance? Your kidnappers are bringing her to Terendor. Why do you think that might be? There is only one explanation. They know our secret. Just so. Everything hinges on the secrecy of Terendor. The princess and her kidnappers must die. As you will it, your majesty. Yeah, they don't want anybody outside to find out that they're probably going to be... They're probably trying to start a war between, uh... Uh, Sirenthea and Tariq so that they can kill both of them like basically have them wipe each other out and then just take the spoils Ariel's death will delay my plans considerably Victoria you know how I feel about the lays yes your majesty Ariel was taken out from under you that is why we're in this situation at all do not fail me again all right, well, hopefully you're not as strong as you were before. Hopefully it does that JRPG thing where, like, magically we're strong enough to kick your ass this time. There were three of you before, but your stats were also crazy. Ah, you're here already. Your arrival is sooner than, anti than anticipated. Rowan, is it? Sooner than anticipated? How do you know my name? We've had our spies on you ever since the moment you left Evanhart, you fool. Shut up. What are you doing here, Victoria? What is this place? Why are Tariq's flags on those ships? Ah, oh, princess, it is truly a shame you agreed to travel with these people. Tell me your plans, Victoria. What is going on here? You're a very spirited young woman, Ariel. You would have made a lovely bride for Prince Gage. I will not relish ending your life. Ending my life? Gage may, Gage may have betrayed me, but he would never let you hurt me. You wouldn't, you're right. He has more of his mother in him than his father, I fear. But his highness isn't here to stop me now, is he? I intended to spare your lives at Alindra so that you could be executed properly and the princess returned to Evanhart. Now that there isn't any need, why don't you have a taste of my true power? God, this song, excuse me? Oh, are you doing like blood magic? What is happening here? Uh, guys? Whatever trick one of you has to get us out of this mess, you better do it soon. Guess that's my cue. Aiden, what? What are you doing here with them? Oh, that's an interesting expression. Improving my odds of successfully murdering you, sister. Wait, Victoria's your sister? Yes, though it's not going to matter much in a second. What are you doing, you idiot? You'll kill all of us. Probably. Hey, I like this guy's style. Roman, Hodden's magic is going to collapse this entire tunnel. God damn it, Aiden, stop. Don't interrupt me, you fool. Now she has time to counter. Thank you, Rowan. I'll be sure to repay the favor with a quick and painless death once I hunt you down. My brother's presence here is not something I accounted for, and it complicates matters. Until we meet again. Okay, so you're leaving because you're scared of you're scared of a blue hair boy. Sometime later. Sometime later. Ugh. What happened? Where are we? Damn it, I knew we shouldn't have let that sorcerer join us. Where's Victoria? We have been teleported into this place, fool. Victoria lives and she would be dead were it not for you. We'd all be dead if not for me, jackass. 
There's a chance some of us would have survived. Okay, can you two idiots squabble over this another time? We're sort of trapped in a hole. I agree with Karina. We are decidedly in a hole. We must return to Evanhart to warn my father. We should be cautious as we search for a way out. Who knows what Victoria still has in store for us. Uh-huh. Okay, am I gonna get that boss fight I thought I was walking into, or... Is this gonna, just gonna be more dungeon? This is just more dungeon. Okay. So yeah, we'll probably go ahead and end this episode here. I like the progress we made, so... I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Rise of the Third Power. And I'll see you next time.